Hello, my beautiful Libras. We're going to go with your Fortuna real quick, as you guys know how the drill is. I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that roles could be reversed between you and that person, if that applies. And with that said, let's move forward. As I said before, I run no daycare, so just know that this is entirely general. Keep, keep it or leave it. Your call. We got here. Be careful and avoid a loss. Family grief. You should use your brain's more so i do feel that um i do feel like once again i feel like there's two different things for you libra be careful how you manage your money or you invest your money on something because you can get scammed or you may not get what you think you're gonna get so always make your research and read policies and do everything because just because you don't read it or don't know does not take away the responsibility that you were the one in charge to make those research and find more information you understand that right so what is that also some of you could be losing somebody or this could be a reminder that somebody passed away around this certain time so you can feel a little bit low a little bit down here also i do feel like you're very smart but you don't trust yourself and you don't tend to think that you can achieve things so they want you to remind they want me to remind you hey you have an amazing brain use it more boo -boo -gaga. they want you to know that sometimes you need to be more smart because you tend to do everything for others without expecting reward even though that's amazing sometimes people take advantage of that so you need to be more less naive and use your brain some more before helping somebody because sometimes people don't want you help they just want to scam people and this is for some of you okay i do feel like this could be somebody near you somebody that i don't know I would, it could be online as well but i do feel like somebody really near you that is physically near you that could be trying to scam you like say hey i'll pay you back but they don't have an intention to pay you back i always say to people that when people ask money to help you know when they ask you for money keep in mind that they don't have the money they might not be able to pay you back because that's why they don't they pay you, they ask you for money in the first place even though that not everybody's like that i feel like this person that's going to do it they they tend to ask for money a lot maybe to you or to your family and they are not going to pay you back because they feel like oh we're family or we have been friends for so long i don't need to pay you back just be careful now i'm going to give you some lucky numbers throughout the whole reading so keep in mind that you can always reward like you know go back and write it down but hey i'm going to give you some some numbers so we got 22 17 29 and 28 we also have lucky number 189 or 189 732, 120, and 91. You have big ideas which you must carry on. I do feel like you're the dreamer in your family. You are the entrepreneur. You are the people or the person who doesn't dream or you don't dream to work on 9 to 5 forever. Uh, you would like to be your own boss or have your own things. And I do feel like you're misunderstood sometimes in your family. And they think like that's not going to take off. They want you to continue through with your plans. Of course, you need to do more research, like I said. And this actually fell underneath that first card. This is be careful and avoid loss. Before you're jumping in on buying things or investing things, make your research. Because keep in mind that just because it worked out for somebody else doesn't mean it's going to work out for you. And this is for, I feel like some of you may try to do social media as a full-time job but just so you know as a social media influencer and as a youtuber i want to tell you that yes it's amazing that you want to go for that and i applaud you but just because you work for you for certain people doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you and i'm not trying to discourage you or anything but the fact i feel like some of you are wanting to invest a lot of money that you guys don't have right now and some of you are trying to hey i'm gonna just quit my job and do this it might not work because for social media sometimes to pay off it takes up to years to build up because social media is not always as uh, stable and i can tell you for for experience that is not stable so i will highly recommend you not to stop it continue with your plans but do it better because you may regret how you're doing it right now also uh do not copy other people's ideas do not copy other people's way of doing things because then you're going to be a copycat and you're never going to succeed this is just something that most of you know so just continue if you're not if you're already doing your thing and doing what you makes you feel happy and you're not copying anybody then you're doing it correctly if you're thinking of copying somebody else's uh aesthetic uh personality you're going to fail because you're always going to be the copycat of whoever that person is and people are going to call you out for it and you're going to be canceling your career before it starts this is just for whoever needs to hear this something serious will be told 
you wish you must not believe. So I do feel like somebody's going to tell you something serious like, oh, this person talk about you like this or this really happened. I feel like somebody's going to tell you something that sounds very serious, but it's not real. They're just trying to lie to you. This could be actually related to a boyfriend or girlfriend. This could be a friend of yours or somebody that's connected to them and be like, hey, he or she said this about you or he or she says, says, said this about you or <clears throat> this could be a little scandal online. Keep in mind that... Uh, some of you could be uh, uh, exposed with some screenshots or uh, your nudes could be exposed or something. Keep in mind that I feel like they're telling you this just to make you nervous, but it's not true. I feel like this person is just trying to take away your peace. But somebody's going to lie to you about something that sounds very serious, but it's not true at all. I don't know what this is. I'm, I'm giving you as many options I can imagine right now because, of course, not all of you are going to experience this. And I'm just doing a collective right now for some Libras. So just be careful. If something's serious, but you must not believe that. If it's not from the source, do not believe it, okay? Carry through with your plans. Again, it's going now that, hey, you have an idea and you want to make it a plan. But maybe find a partnership. Find somebody that can help you with that plan. Um, do your research. Take your time. There's no need to rush anything because you may regret it. So I will highly recommend you to continue with your plans, but do your research properly and manage your money properly because once that money is gone, it's gone. A change in the life of a true friend. I do feel that um, some of you may be thinking about starting a business with a friend because you want to help them. But I do feel like this could bite you later in the nalgas. Keep in mind that friendships and family members are not always the best employees because this lack of respect sometimes because they're like oh you're my friend or you're my family and they don't always follow through of course it's not always for all of you because some of you have amazing family members but some of you who may be wanting to start something if they're going to invest or you're thinking about investing and think of who are you going to hire and not always it's not always the people that love you the most or supposed to love you the most that are the best employees i do feel right here that you want to change somebody's life but you need to be careful okay i do feel that that's important for you to know um just so you know that wealth inherent from an unexpected quarter can we clarify this regardless of opposition you will succeed so some of you are going to receive wealth okay and it says regardless of opposition you will be successful okay when we're talking about this it's not just a random uncle or auntie or grandma giving you money out of nowhere it's talking about that your plans and whatever you're working through life right now and this is not only social media but whatever you're doing flipping burgers working in a store working in an office i salute you you work your nine to five you go girl you go dude because guess what we are working right and i am so proud of everybody who works so now with this said bubukaka no, um they want you to not to continue to push forward some of you are trying to work some of you are here are nurses trying to work uh in a something else this could be an office related or some of you are working in a, in a path right now but you actually are studying or trying to invest your time in other things i hear realtor okay not i don't know who this is for okay or you could be a realtor wanting to be a nurse i don't know but they want me to tell you to continue pushing through it's going to be very hard because you're going to have to divide the little time you have in both you're going to actually sleep very little you're going to actually have to work a lot more than what you're used to already but keep in mind that even though this help our position that at times you're going to feel like you want to want to that you don't want to do it anymore um they want you to know that you are going to be successful and you should not give up because you're on the right path and that you're going to be successful and that's where your wealth is coming you're no longer living paycheck by paycheck you're going to have more you're going to have enough and more than that you will be happiest with peace and quiet i do feel right now that your mind is going at 100 miles per hour i do feel like you are overthinking a lot and you are actually struggling i do feel like some of you could be struggling with money and i do understand that because all of us are struggling with money you know like everybody who lives in planet earth you know if it's mars i don't know but whoever lives in planet earth and is living on this reality everybody's struggling in different ways you know most of us people normal people like us and i do and i do feel like <coughs> You are drowning in your thoughts because you're like, oh my God, how can I make more money? How can I help my wife? How can I help my husband? How can I feed my kids? And I understand that because, girl, I've been doing that the whole week. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Like I told you, like I talk to you guys, like you guys are my friends because I don't see you guys like subscribers. I see you guys as my friends and families. I love all of you. And I keep it real and I'll talk to you like I will talk to my cousins and my mom and all that, you know? If you again if you see me outside, you guys will know that this is how I talk. This is who I am. And that's why I share a little bit about me here and there because it means a lot that you know that you guys are here and I want you guys to feel like you guys are talking to your friend. Shit chat with me. Powerade, not sponsored. I don't know why I don't like it, but I need it. Because I I was girl, I was sick. I was throwing up and pooping my pants i was like oh. that, that's why i look so skinny i, I, I look snatched like but girl i was i was not in a good place anyways wrap it up um <laughs> uh wrap it up um <coughs> i mean i couldn't work a lot and girl and the same week right my man my fiance's they cut his hours and they're like laying off people and we're worried that that could happen to him so at the same time this is happening girl like <laughs> you were going crazy we're like oh my god you know we're trying to do our best here and he's like applying for jobs and he's getting on like interviews but you know there's a moment that the, the brain feels like crazy because you're like you got a kid you know I have a kid and I'm like oh my god you know and I couldn't work so I get life be kicking my butt like boom 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 so I do feel like all of us are in the same place hopefully not because I really like I really want people to succeed and being struggling here and there or stress is not the goal but anyways I do feel like coming from the cards and your good friend here um, I highly recommend you to enjoy a day or two of solitude and quiet like hey Go out on a walk if you can, if it's not snowing, <laughs> like here in Wisconsin, like, girl, like we're expecting to get four to five, I see, I heard feet, inches or feet, I don't know, of snow, I, I never know, um, but anyways, it's a lot, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, anyways, um, what was I saying? I forgot, <laughs> oh yeah. You may enjoy some peace and quiet, meaning like, you know, relax, like watching a show or walking because I do feel like you are not doing nothing. You are working, but you know, sometimes you can do so much and I do feel like you're going a uh, hundred miles per hour and I do feel like you are stressing too much and you may not see, you may not see, um, the not the blessings because i do understand when people say oh blessing in disguise we want to throw them with a pan right because we're now struggling but i do feel like you may not see the detours that could take you to a better outcome because you're too stressed and i also feel like stressing or not stressing what's meant to happen will be happening and i do feel like a clear mind and a better sense of state it'll help you better to maybe find uh solutions i would say so I will highly recommend you to enjoy a day or two of solitude and this is not being alone. This is just not thinking about that situation. Do simple things as watching a show with your family or going out on a walk or taking yourself out on a date. This could be girl, go to the Q, get a hot dog or girl, go to McDonald's and get yourself some nuggets. You know, we don't talk about fancy. Here. We're talking about like something that we can afford if not or go to the grocery store and if you have your, you know, like EBT, get yourself a little, a little meal or so. Or just get yourself some groceries, you know? And, okay, so they want you not to be careful of a serious flirtation. Can we clarify this? Your life partner will be in a, a person of strong will. So I do feel like some of you are in a relationship or a marriage, right? And I do feel like, uh, for those who are, you, got, you guys could be struggling with money right now. And this is causing a lot of tension. This is why, me, what I'm talking about. Because, you know, you may, you may have a lot of tension in your relationship right now because of the money situation. They want you to know, they want you to know that your person and you, you guys are people of strong will. And you both love each other. And you both care for each other. You guys right now are just stressed over this situation, this economy. And they want you to know that instead of like arguing, maybe try to take yourself out on a date. This is not going to a fancy restaurant. This could be just maybe have a TV show date or just a pizza date or just something simple. And I feel like you need to actually find comfort in each other instead of like against each other. Because at the end of the day, you guys are your foundation. And if this foundation that is your relationship is missing one, it's going to fall. 
you guys right now are on the same boat and if you guys are not roaming anymore the boat is going to stay still maybe could sink so is your job as reconnect pretty much do some maybe take a minute or two and continue to work as a team because the only way you guys can get through this is working as a team and i do feel like you guys do love each other it's just the economy boo boo so do not let this economy take more that was already doing something serious will be told you which you not something serious will be told you which you must not believe sorry my english is not always that good because i feel like this is very bad written or i'm just stupid either or okay anyways i do feel like something i do feel if you have a partner uh this co-worker is gonna call you or message you saying like oh or somebody's gonna say that they saw your man or your girl flirting with somebody at work that's bs that's a lie do not believe that because they're just trying to take away because they want that person and they want to take away that person from you so somebody's gonna start about your partner don't believe it if you don't have a partner this could happen down the road again i read the fortune i don't read newspapers so you just know that this could be in the future now something will happen that will change the entire atmosphere for the best i do feel guys that the atmosphere feels dense it feels very chaotic and i do feel like some changes are going to be happening if somebody is currently laid off or somebody is currently laid off just so you know they're gonna find a better job in the atmosphere and the situation is gonna get better because it's gonna be a better job with better pay and a better atmosphere less toxic there's a false friend around you and this is the false friend that is telling you bs about your man or your girl keep them away from you boo boo no bueno we got be careful of a blonde you know this friend of yours and this person is going to tell you that situation is going to be blonde if you're blonde unless you talk to yourself and i do that but unless you talk to yourself and you know might be you if you talk to yourself like i do but um if you have friends um and somebody happens to be blonde and happens to specifically approach you and tell you uh gossip about your man or girl okay keep in mind that this person it could be a family member as well this person is just trying to separate you guys because they know there's issues because of financial situations and they want to add to the fire okay you are missing many opportunities to take advantage i feel like some of you are very into comfort and i do feel libra that you need to take out the trash like hey get out there put yourself what could happen if you think like oh i will never get that job like why would they hire me trust me boo -boo -ga -ga. the worst thing could happen is that they don't hire you but you telling yourself that it's not gonna happen i do feel like some of you are so afraid of taking risks why are you so afraid of taking risks you know and i'm not telling you hey jump hey stand on the middle of the road and stay there no not that i'm talking about like hey Put yourself out there if it's love. Put yourself out there if it's love. If it's love. Allow people to let, let, let people know you. Let people come into your life and you decide if you want to take it farther or not. If it's about a job, hey, apply. You can get the interview. The worst thing could happen is that it's not for you or that you say, oh, you know what? I don't want it. But it's time for you. But you tend to be so confused or you go like, oh, it's not going to happen before it happens. That come becomes procrastination. That becomes nothing. So you stay stuck. So... Babe, if you talk to me, the terror reader I am, I push you to do the best, to be the best version of yourself. You understand that? I know love is a thing, but I'm about to tell you that you are the one that should be focusing on your future as well as well as your love future. Because I feel like this terror reader is lot nowadays. It's only talking about love. Like I yeah, I, I talk about love and a lot of, a lot of BS, and I confuse my words because my brain goes faster than my tongue. But um. I want you to be the best that you can. Like, I'm telling you, babe, you can do this. That's why the Fortuna reading that I'm doing is not for all of you because this is the true BS, you know? <laughs> oh, it's not BS. I'm just joking, guys. If you don't believe me, I don't care. I don't know you. I don't know you guys. I don't know you. I'm kidding, babes. I'm kidding. 
I'm just like this. If you don't like me, you still can stop watching me because you know that I grow. Either or, I grow on you or I wear you down. But a win is a win. So, you will be more successful telling the truth at all times. Guard against losses in the future. A change in the life of a true friend. You are loved by all who you come in contact with. Successful in big things if undertaken. So, I do feel that... Um, you tend to hold back because you tend to feel like, oh my God, I'm going to make this person mad or I don't want to. Babe, trust me, you'll be more successful in life and you will have less problems and you will actually have less fake people around you if you're honest. I'm an honest person and trust me, honest people like me don't always have a lot of friends because people cannot take it. And I'm not talking about being disrespectful because being disrespectful is going out of your way towards somebody that you don't know, towards somebody that's not even looking your way and you telling them something that makes them feel bad. Now, standing up for yourself is not being mean. It's just like putting a boundary when people think they have two cents in your business. You know what I'm saying? So be more honest with yourself. Be more honest about the situation. If it's something about you need to talk about with somebody, hey, talk about it. Also, there's a big line of being a... Uh, rude and being honest but at the end of the day i want you to know that you be more successful if you're honest more time or more often they want you also are you okay baby you okay you want to kiss mama okay hold on guys be right back back boobos but like i said before be more honest also they want you to be careful with your money um to you know so you can actually avoid losses so if you don't have money to buy something don't do it if you actually don't have money to a loan don't do it things like that i do feel like some of your friend or a friend is going to ask you for money and it could be actually life-changing but instead of giving them exactly what they ask if you can't afford that maybe give him a little bit less and if they don't want to take it they don't want to take it but at the end of the day you're actually you're saving guarding. you your money and your assets okay so uh, they want you to know that you, even though you don't believe this, you are very likable and lovable by a lot of people who get to know you. This doesn't always mean that they are, these are people who are close to you, such as friends or family. These are just people that come in, co in contact with you and they love your vibe. Um, somebody that you know, it could be a little bit ill and they're going to recover. So everything's going to be just fine. They want you to know that. Um, they want you to know that you have genius thoughts and ideas that can carry through and it can actually take you to that sense of stability and happiness that you're seeking in a stress-free life, financial stress-free, honestly. They want you to know that success is for you. You continue to carry through. Keep in mind that I do see a lot of challenges and difficulties in your, in your life while doing this, and you're going to constantly think if you should do it or not, but they want you to continue to follow through and pushing through because it's going to be beneficial for you. They want you to know that you're going to be a successful leader who will produce. You are going to be great, Bubu Gaga. Just continue pushing through, Bubu. <coughs> Last ones. They want you to know that keep up your courage and little longer better things insights for you insight for you. And last one, a marriage will take place soon. And you guys are also going to en end up married with someone, someone very soon. They want you to know successful in big things if undertaken. Like I said before, you're not the underdog. You need to be freaking careful but you get, you gotta be smart <laughs> if you continue holding back you may not achieve it you will have a mind of your own you have a mind of your own use it again they say that you're very smart and unique and that could actually lead you to very much success i do feel like this is for most of you who need to know exactly you know where you're pointing out not necessarily uh this is just more about work and life not only about love it does say that you may find um you know fall in love fall in love soon and get married as well always doing your always doing for others without reward and because you do this a lot libra you're gonna be rewarded let me see let me see intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later we got a guardian right here and it says a lost loved one watches over you someone else it says someone is in the middle someone is trying to sabotage this we got spy and it says <coughs> someone's got their eye on you you are doing your research 
distance right here it says you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distanced it says yes uh luck is in your side it's on your side i should say and then we got air signs which is you libra gemini libra aquarius and it says date night get ready to be wined and dined anything else love spell you've been bewitched <laughs> honeymoon honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding and this says pregnancy someone is expecting and air sign taurus Virgo, capricorn at the bottom health issues could arise and narcissist someone is too full of themselves and this communication things are getting serious so that's what i see libra for some of you um let me give you a and i do feel like health reasons can arise because you're too worried you could actually it could actually uh, affect your cholesterol and your pressure so be kind with you okay so at the bottom right here we got the bison and it says abundance sacred buffalo cloak me in your wisdom keep me warm through the storms of life fill my life with goodness butterfly rebirth you can reinvent yourself open the rewards of change <clears throat> you have the brilliance to share with the world love every part of your journey it also says prong horn it says action now is the time to act opportunities are here move forward with confidence your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle your quick wit and mean senses will lead you to success so hold on guys so this is the end of your reading libra thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe um also um <clears throat> i'm gonna be posting a video soon this week about the giveaway as you guys know every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers i host a free reading giveaway please uh do not email me or message me about that as i said before i'm gonna make a video this week which is either or tomorrow sunday or throughout the week um i will also choose uh every month i'm gonna choose one or two lucky subscribers and i'm gonna read their cards on a, on a youtube short i also we're gonna make a video about that so once again just please be kind and help with patience <laughs> with this said most likely i'll show you my social media so if you follow me on instagram i'll always follow you back i also have a tiktok i have a small group on facebook and i have an upcoming project on my patreon which i'm going to launch soon i'm going to be offering their tarot uh card classes as well as uncensored readings and much more i have also if you are interested i'm a amazon affiliate and i have my storefront and i earn commissions with qualified purchases so you have my list and some pictures i'm still working on so of products that i like and i have so if you want to double check the storefront on amazon um it's going to be in the description box below as well and with this said guys thank you so very much for the love and support uh once again if you also want a personal reading with me the description box below you can find my appointment website and you can book directly over there keep in mind that i have a sale for valentine's day um which is the second and anything else that's not the valentine's day uh, sale for the second is going to be declined as i've been very clear about it on all my videos as well as all my posts in all my social medias so um if you want any other service please find a different date if not just go with the valentine's day service as it's already listed as the valentine's day sale for the second um but again you can book directly on my on description box below is the link that you can book directly as well sorry it's itchy <laughs> and also you can actually book directly on my instagram on there the book now button and with this said guys thank you so very much once again i hope you guys have an amazing day a friendly reminder that i do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and once again i never message anybody offering readings or inquiring about readings so if that were to happen from an account it's not mine feel free to report and block and once again thank you so much once again and have an amazing day